D-Lab with a little tech tip for you. You ever wanted to check those 12AX7 tubes in your Fender amp, but you don't have a tube checker? Let me show you a real easy way to tell if those tubes are working properly. Save you some money and time. Alright, so here we are, underside, on a Fender Princeton. Okay? This is your 12AX7 tube right here. So let's say you think this tube's bad, okay? Now on the cathode of this tube, there's two elements, okay? And you're gonna see a 1.5K resistor here with a cap. And hidden over here is the other one, okay? Now if you were to measure the voltage, of course with the amp on, you're gonna see, in this case, about 1.41 volts there. And look at the other cathode. If I can get my meter to cooperate. 1.43 volts. All right. So if you were to take a calculator and we'd say, okay, I saw 1.4 volts. We'll divide that by the 1500 ohm resistor that's looking across. It's approximately 0.933 milliamps. Well, the good current on a 12AX7 tube is about one mil. So in that case, both sides of this tube are running to specification. So let's say you did this measurement and you had your 1.43 here, and let's say over here you only saw, eh, let's say 0.5 volts, okay? So if you do the same thing, so okay, I saw 0.5 volts, you divide that by the 1500 ohm resistor, oh, I'm down to 0.3 milliamps. That side of that tube is weak. Look at there, you don't need a tube checker. Okay, so mission accomplished. Now you have a way to tell if your 12AX7 tubes are working properly, okay? I just saved you the cost of a tube checker. I'd say you owe D-Lab a beer. Anyway, I'll be posting more of these tech tips. I hope you found this information valuable. Thanks for watching.